anatomy of the teres major muscle, origin and insertion. The teres major muscle arises from the dorsal posterior aspect of the inferior angle of the scapula and inserts into the medial lip of the intertubricular groove of the humerus. The teres major muscle is one of several muscles that connect the scapula to the humerus. Here are the majority of the muscles that connect the scapula to the humerus. As you can see here, these muscles are numerous and each one of them has its own function. Unlike the teres minor muscle, the teres major muscle doesn't attach to the capsule of the glenohumeral joint. So you can enter the shoulder posteriorly in the interval between the teres minor and the infraspinatus. The teres major has a close insertion into the anterior side of the proximal humerus along with the latissimus dorsi, the pectoralis major, and the subscapularis muscle, as you can see here in this diagram. You can see that the latissimus dorsi is inserted lateral to the teres major. The teres major has the most medial insertion, and the pectoralis major had the most lateral insertion and the subscapularis is proximal. And in the groove medial to the pectoralis major, there lies the biceps tendon. Innervation. The teres major muscle is innervated by the lower subscapular nerve C5 and C6 of the brachial plexus. The subscapularis muscle is inserted into the humerus higher than the teres major and is innervated by the upper and the lower subscapular nerves, C5, C6. The latissimus dorsi muscle is inserted into the humerus between the others and is innervated by the thoracodorsal nerve, C6, C7 and C8. The latissimus dorsi muscle inserted into the proximal humerus in the middle between other tendons and the nerve supply to the latissimus dorsi is in the middle between the other two nerves, the upper and the lower subscapular nerve that all the three branches come from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus before it split into the axillary nerve and the radian nerve. The lower subscapular is teres major and subscapularis muscle. The axillary nerve, which is close to the lower subscapular, is the teres minor and deltoid muscle. The subscapular muscle carries the name subscapular, so it gets innervation from the upper and lower subscapular nerves. The thoracodorsal nerve is in the middle. The teres major muscle is lower than the subscapular muscle, so it is innervated by the lower subscapular nerve, as you can see here in this diagram. Function. The teres major muscle causes three movement of the shoulder joint. It pulls the humerus towards the trunk, adduction. It turns the humerus medially, internal rotation. It pulls the humerus posteriorly, extension and retroversion. So its function is adduction, internal rotation, and extension of the shoulder. What are the important anatomical structures related to the teres major muscle? 
There are three important anatomical spaces located in the posterior shoulder associated with the teres major muscle. The quadrangular space, the boundaries between the teres minor muscle superiorly and the teres major muscle inferiorly. The long head of the triceps medially and the surgical neck of the humerus laterally. So if you're approaching the shoulder posteriorly, you got to go proximal to the teres minor. You cannot go inferior or distal to the teres minor. You're going to be in the quadrangular space and you probably will injure the contents. The contents of the quadrangular space are the axillary nerve and the posterior humeral circumflex artery. These structures, especially the axillary nerve, can be injured from surgery, from fractures, or shoulder dislocation. Always have the surgical dissection above the teres minor muscle to avoid injury to the axillary nerve and the posterior humerus circumflex artery. The triangular interval, as you can see here, is between the teres major the humeral shaft, and the long head of the triceps. It contains the radial nerve and the deep branch of the brachial artery. The triangular space boundaries, the teres major, the teres minor, and the long head of the triceps. The triangular space contains the circumflex scapular artery. This is the diagram. The quadrangular space laterally, the triangular space medially, and inferiorly will be the triangular interval. The teres major is involved in all the three of them so that practice exercise and see what are the boundaries of each space and what are the content of each space. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.